Soul Kirsch here with Double Alpha Academy and today I have something truly revolutionary to show you. This is the Double Alpha Lynx shooting belt. So I've been involved in IPSC shooting for over 30 years and during that entire period shooting belts haven't changed much. One of the most important features in a good shooting belt is that the belt needs to be rigid. It has to hold your equipment securely, it has to prevent the holster and the magazines from moving and flapping around as you run and move so that when you draw them you can make a smooth draw, you can make a quick reload, the equipment has to be stable. So over the years, shooting belts have developed into something that looks very much like this. And this is the Double Alpha Premium Belt, which is probably the number one selling belt worldwide. It's a super rigid outer belt, which has a PVC core used with a Velcro lining on the inside, which attaches to a softer inner belt that you loop through your pants. This solution offers a very usable and a very good performing shooting rig. The holster is very rigid, very solid, as are the pouches but it does have some significant drawbacks. And one of the largest drawbacks can be demonstrated right here. The rigidity of the belt makes it impossible to fold it very small. You can't roll it up in a very compact manner. Most shooters end up with their three or 400 euro rig hanging on the outside of their shooting belt, a bag simply because it won't fit. When you need to fly, when you need to transport, the rig is big, it's bulky, and it's not convenient to transport. The other problem a very rigid belt can create, especially for thinner, smaller shooters, is that the belt doesn't want to follow the contour of the body perfectly snugly, and it can create pressure points that during a long day on the range can start to become a little uncomfortable. The belts have been unchanged pretty much for 30 years, and here at Double Alpha we thought it was time to try and innovate and make something better. So I'm very pleased to announce and to introduce to you the new Double Alpha Lynx shooting belt. Now the Lynx shooting belt is a totally new concept in IPSC competition belts. And what we've done is we've made something that is small enough and compact enough to easily fit even into the small size backpack with plenty of room to spare. And this is the new Double Alpha Lynx belt assembled on a rig. This is my rig and I'm not a small guy. This is a size 42 belt. And this belt will collapse and fold down small enough to where you can fit that in any bag. For the sake of comparison, this is a 36 belt. That's a 42 belt. The difference is massive and the advantage is dramatic. So we set to develop this product while keeping in mind that we still need the belt to be super rigid. The holster has to be stable, the pouches have to be stable and yet those those pieces of equipment require rigidity in this axis. The belt must not flex in this way, up and down. And you can see that this belt is completely rigid. In fact, it's more rigid than even the one-piece belt is. If I try to flex on this belt in this direction, you can see I can bend that just a little bit. But on the Lynx belt, there is no flex in that direction. And yet, because the belt itself is made out of individual links, each roughly 3.2 centimeters wide, these links which are pinned together with steel pins will allow the belt to collapse very compact, very small, allowing you to roll it up into a very small size package. When you wear it on your body, it will follow the contour of your body no matter how small or slim you are, but still the equipment remains completely rigid. The advantages of the Double Alpha Lynx belt don't stop there. In addition to the links, we've innovated and designed a new buckle, which is designed to be very short, very compact, which means that it's easy to position in the front of the body, in between your holster and your first pouch. Even for guys, open shooters, or people carrying their equipment in the front, their first magazine, there's always just that 15 centimeter space between the holster and the first pouch, and you can use that to close the belt in the front. The buckle itself is designed with an extendable o-ring which allows you to extend it to about 40 or 50 millimeters in length and that compensates for clothing items and for the dimensions of the link so that you can hook the two ends together and it holds the belt closed. The belt does use an inner velcro belt same as the old design belt does and every one of these links has in it an injection molded velcro tab and this is a patented system 
that is injection molded onto the links during production. These are not stickers or tabs that can peel off or come off in the heat. This is a permanent part of each link. And each one of these surfaces here is a Velcro area that attaches firmly to your inner belt. So the belt in reality attaches and is used in the same way as the traditional one-piece Velcro belt does. These Velcro patches are extremely tough and the grip is excellent. So in addition to being able to roll it up super small and the advantage of having the buckle in the front, another obvious advantage is that you can always make changes, you can make adjustments. If you need your belt a little longer, if you need your belt a little shorter, knock out one link, take out one link, add one link. The links themselves are available for sale separately as well as a complete belt which we have developed a builder for to order your first links belt. All of the individual parts can be purchased separately. For our distribution network, the advantage is dramatic. They no longer have to stock all different types of, of sizes, 10 or 12 different sizes. You stock only the links. And when customers come to order their belt, there is a calculator that tells them how many links they need, and they can go pick and choose between the nine different colors that we currently offer and create their own custom appearing belts, which are unique which can be made to fit their national flag colors, which can be made to suit their shooting uniform, add a flair, add a element of color to your shooting performance. So this is the new Double Alpha Lynx shooting belt, a true revolution and a massive Im improvement on the traditional belt that has been used in the same way for so long. What I'd like to do now is show how the belt arrives when you order it and the process of assembling your belt. So when you're ready to order your Lynx shooting belt, you'll use the builder on our website which will tell you exactly how many links you need and allow you to select a mix of colors. You can choose to use one color or up to nine separate colors to create your link. And when you order your belt, this is what you receive. In fact, you receive a bag of parts which includes an inner belt and the inner belt is calculated for your size based on the number of links that you've ordered a small buckle assembly. Now the, the buckle itself comes fully assembled and ready to be used and with it a few additional parts. This small tool here is a punch and we include that with every belt. It's designed to make it simple and easy to knock out pins should you need to do that if you want to remove or add another pin. Handy tool to have if you don't have one you would miss it. So we include that with every buckle. The buckle itself is fully assembled. It's ready to be used and assembled on your belt. We include a bag of 50 roll pins. Now 50 roll pins would allow you to assemble 49 links, which would be roughly a size 60 belt. Few people would need more than uh, 50 links. 50 are included with every purchase. And should you want extra links or extra pins, those can be purchased separately as well. So I've got my 50 roll pins ready to be used. And in addition, there is the end piece of the belt. This is the final link that attaches to the buckle, so you'll use this last when you assemble your belt. And a spare O-ring, which is just provided just in case you need it for any reason. This is the silicone O-ring, which is used as the tensioning device inside the buckle to give yourself that extra tensioning to close the two ends of the belts together. So you're not going to need that, but it's nice to have a spare in your range bag just in case. The calculator should give you the right number of links if you follow the instructions and measure correctly. And the person who ordered these links, there's 32 of them I believe in this bag here, and he's looking to assemble a belt which is mostly black but has a yellow link every second black link. So twice as many blacks, it's going to be two black, one yellow, two black, one yellow. The assembly of this is super simple. It should take you no more than five minutes to assemble your belt. Really, all you need is a hammer. I've got a plastic hammer here, but you could use a small steel hammer. It will work just fine. The links themselves will fit together with a little bit of tension, which is convenient when holding them in your hand. The hole lines up on both parts, and you simply take your pin. I'm using a little piece of wood here on the table to prevent damage to my desk, and knock the pin in. All the way down, and that first link is assembled. Since I want two black and one yellow, I'm going to then assemble a yellow link. And in this fashion, I'll continue to add links, two black, one yellow, until I've created 
my complete belt. This particular belt has just the two colors in it, so we're just doing black and yellow, but of course you can make as interesting of a belt as you want. My current shooting rig is particularly interesting. I just wanted to have all the different colors that we produced uh, sampled there just to see what they look like, so I assembled a belt that's pretty colorful, but uh, you know, everyone can design and create a belt which is unique, or as I said, match it with your shooting uniform or your natural your national flag colors, or your club colors, or your favorite football club colors. Options are there. So in order to save time, I'm not going to assemble all of these links, but you can see the process is pretty repetitive and is super simple and super easy. Once I've assembled all the links in the right length, you assemble the buckle. Now the buckle is assembled onto the right side. The logos on the side of the belt will always tell you which side is up. The logos need to be standing upright as is the case with the logo on the buckle itself. The end buckle will fit and align same as the links do. Again you'll use another pin to attach the buckle. The buckle is now attached. Now, assuming I had the belt fully assembled to the length that it needs to be, my final assembly is the end piece. And before you assemble that, I suggest you put it around your waist, over your inner belt, pull it as tight as you wish it to be, and see that the number of links that you have is correct. If it feels too tight or if it feels too long, add or remove a link before you put the end piece on. That'll save you having to remove it afterwards to make that adjustment. Now, the end piece has actually an orientation where it could be assembled this way or the other way around. There's a little instruction card with the belt that points out to you which way you should do it. The small little bump on this part should be facing outwards from you. That puts the pin in the correct alignment so that it attaches easily and more conveniently to the belt buckle. It will work if you assemble it the other way around, but it will be a little less convenient to attach the two pieces together to make them click when you want to close the belt around your waist. So assuming I had all my links, which of course I would need to be a very small shooter to be able to use this belt, but the process is the same and as you can see the belt is fully assembled. You'll see that the um, buckle itself extends using that o-ring and that'll give you a little bit of pressure to hold the two ends of the belts together. Ideally you'll want to position this buckle in the front just in front of your holster and before your first pouch that makes it super easy to access when you want to take the belt on or off. So this is the new Double Alpha Lynx shooting belt. A true revolution and change in the way shooting belts and competition belts are used. It offers an assortment of advantages making it by far a superior product to what the traditional belt has been. Of course, we continue to offer the premium belts for those who want to use them, but these in nine different colors are now available and shipping from doublealpha.biz.